Hello, friends. I'm actually filming this uh, in my own office, but in fact, I am doing it now this way because I cannot film where I am to be on the Sunday of Divine Mercy, the second Sunday of Easter, because I'll be uh, celebrating Mass that day in one of our prisons here in within the uh, the city of Melbourne. Over the last uh, few years since I've arrived, I've, I've aimed to try and celebrate uh, the sacraments in our prisons every few months or so. But you probably do not know, but I, but I want to let you know, that in fact all the prisons throughout Victoria are visited by chaplains every week. And it's been going on for many, many years. And this is such an important ministry that there is a way in which we reach out to those who are in prison, who are captive. You know the great parable of the sheep and the goats, and the, and the Lord says in that parable, uh, when you, you fed me, when you clothed me, when you visited me when I was in prison, then you will receive me into the kingdom of God. And so uh, I just, I can't film there, but I just wanted to share with you just the importance of that and, and invite you to uh, be always uh, in, a, in a sense of prayer for those who are in prison. Yes, they're there for a reason, we all recognise that, but these are God's people too, in need of healing, in need of reconciliation, in need of of the Lord's body and blood that might give them nourishment uh, and strength uh, through their difficult time. So I invite you to pray for our prisoners, uh, to support in whatever way you might uh, prison ministry, and to uh, always uh, have a heart for those who are in need, who are captive in one way or another and in need of freedom.